Hello everybody and welcome to our 40th episode, kind of unbelievable, of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. This is going to be another challenge run. Of course, last time we did the Luke Skywalker-esque light side slash biblical run. This time we're going to do a dark side run. And in terms of characters, who could be more dark side than Judas? The man who ratted out Jesus for being such a, such a player. I clearly know nothing about the Bible. Basically, this run, if you're unfamiliar, maybe you've forgotten, maybe it's been a while since you saw the last one. Uh, we are going to play entirely in a demonic way, which means whenever we get the opportunity to gamble, we are going to do so. Steal, although I don't know if there are any opportunities to steal in this game. And we can only use items that enhance our dark side abilities. So damage ups, yeah, no problem. Uh, Halo, absolutely not. So we can make deals with the devil in this one. I'm not sure if we'll be able to, because obviously Judas starts with relatively low starting health. And obviously there's going to be certain items that are both kind of biblical and, sa biblical and satanic in equal parts. Like, for example, most of the HP upgrades are equal parts satanic and, uh, and biblical. But the good thing about this run is that I think it's going to be a little bit... Oh, I almost died right off the bat there. I think it's going to be a little bit more interesting and perhaps a little bit more harrowing than our, um, our light side run. I will pick up those spirit hearts. We'll call them robot hearts here to make them seem like they're a little bit more evil than they actually are, because normally those are spirit hearts. Uh, and obviously spirit hearts kind of conjures up the image of them being noble in some way, but I don't want that image to persist. Hey, sack of money that follows me around? Money's the root of all evil, right? I can definitely spin that to be, uh, to be something that I can take with me. So we'll just move on to fight the boss immediately now. And we'll see what kind of items we get from him. With no D6, I gotta hope that we get evil items from the boss. Otherwise, I'm gonna be just running wild here with basically no good items. Cube of meat. You know, meat, high cholesterol causes heart disease. Heart disease is pretty evil. Show me one person on Earth who doesn't think that heart disease is evil. Insurance companies don't count. So be a little bit careful here. Why am I not using my Book of Belial? It's like the most evil item that exists in the game. I probably could have defeated it by now if I'd been paying attention. And I'm sure like, there are comments that people people had started writing, Why aren't you using the Book of Belial, you big retard? But I, I just I got in under the wire there. Anyway, we'll pick up this heart. Cube of meat. Absolutely. We will take that along with us. And hopefully get a demonic meat boy to keep us some company. To be our princess of darkness. Because obviously we are going to be the prince of darkness. Or Meat Boy. Meat Boy. Maybe we'll be the King of Darkness. Meat Boy can be the Prince of Darkness. He'll usurp Ozzy Osbourne. This Penny. Really looking to get some health at some point. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be a pretty goddamn short run. The whole point of the dark side is that it's supposed to make you more powerful. Uh, but I guess it doesn't say anything about living longer, necessarily. Hey, there's an extra half heart that I can't use for anything at all. I'm going to save the Book of Belial, because God knows I'm going to want to use that on the boss. I mean, the Beelzebub knows I want to use that on the boss. There we go. Yet another dropping of money. Hey, and there's the shop right there. Unfortunately, I don't have any keys with which to uh, go to the shop. But that's okay. Maybe we'll find some more on this level. Because having 15 cents already, I can pick up some pretty darn good items. For example, a battery. Electricity. People used to think electricity was evil. I'm stretching it a little bit, but you gotta cut me some slack. There's a lot of items that fall under the idea of demonic biblical, but sometimes you gotta stretch it a little bit. And that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. So we're definitely gonna pick up this money, and absolutely gonna go to the shop. Or sorry, the uh, arcade, because I need some keys desperately. I don't need that heart, though. So we're just gonna play with this guy for a little while, until we get some keys. Feels good to be back in my native element here, in the, uh, in the casino. Oh, come on. Here in the casino. Because before, I was, uh, was basically handcuffed when it came to that, when I was playing as the Biblical Luke Skywalker run. And of course, dropping these hearts is actually not such a bad thing, uh, because I can use the blood bank and get some money for them. But I really need some keys, most of all. Particularly, I need that fly to stop spawning. Again, more hearts, not necessarily a bad thing. Not necessarily a good thing, either. Oh, man, I am wasting my money here. Okay, give me the keys. That's all I need from you. Come on! One drop of two keys would be enough. And then I'd leave you alone. I'd leave your shop. Okay, that heart's... That heart dropping is okay. It's 
go to Lavin to get, me, get some more money, but it's not necessarily going to save the day. The key is what I really need. Come on, come on. Lucky right side has failed me once again. More bombs. Hey, I'm not going to complain about more bombs. I will eventually use them to end your life. But the key. So essential. One key to rule them all. Come on! What is, where are you getting these flies from? Are you pulling them out of your asshole? Oh, thank God. Okay, now with two keys, I can finally start ending fools in here. One bomb, one half heart. Might as well use the, use the blood bank as many times as I can. Might even be able to get back up to 15 cents if I'm lucky. I definitely want to use that half heart rather than just killing myself. Hey, there we go. Should be able to get back up to 15 cents. Oh, shit, I can't use the blood bank anymore. God damn it! Well, we'll just blow it up. Hey, extra cent. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted. And because we have 15 cents exactly, we'll just blow up the slot machine. Wouldn't you know it? Drop some keys. So now we can go to the item room, and we can go to the shop, and then we can go fight the boss, because Book of Belial is fully charged. Item room. Tarot cards. Absolutely evil, but I would rather have the Book of Belial than the tarot cards. I don't think anyone's going to begrudge me that decision, either. Make our way over here to the item room, and hopefully find a battery. Because if I find a map or, like, a ladder, it's going to be hard for me to, to spin those as evil items. What's that eye? You know, I'm going to pick up that eye up. Pick up that eye up. I'm going to pick that eye up. It looks pretty evil. The inner eye. Triple shot. Absolutely. Does this look like a creature that you would see on God's green earth? I don't think so. So triple shot's a pretty good item. Who are we fighting here? Duke of Flies. Not bad at all. Use Book of Belial right away for once. And if we can hit the Duke of Flies with all three of these shots simultaneously, it's going to be bad for business for the Duke here. Even though he is a pretty kick-ass Duke. I'll murder the rest of these flies. Spoiled milk? I think you could possibly spin that as the devil working his magic on the milk. Surely someone on Earth has believed that at one point or another. So I could give it one heart for the Necronomicon, two hearts for Lord of the Pit. I would love to make those deals. Unfortunately, I can't do that right now. Otherwise, I would almost certainly get killed. Oh, so let's oh, move our way back here. These turrets... Oh, so stupid. I was going to say, these turrets tend to be pretty easy to take out uh, because you can hit them even when they're in their kind of resting position. But that was not the case that time. I mean, I could still hit them, but I also sucked dick against them and took a little bit of damage unnecessarily. But thank God I got that HP upgrade on the last floor. So we'll just keep hammering away at these guys, dropping some health I can't really use. How many hits do these guys take? I need some damage upgrades. Well, I suppose I do have the Book of Belial on me at all times. Let's use that, actually, because... There's no rule saying we can't backtrack, so if we do actually run out, or, like, find the boss room without getting a recharge of my Book of Belial, well, we'll just walk around. Go to the new... Take a new path and try to find out what's going on. So I don't want to go to that shop right now, because I can't necessarily buy anything in it for seven cents, although sometimes you can. Sometimes they have half-price sales going on in the shop, seemingly for no reason. Reminds me of everyone's favorite digital distribution platform, Steam. Anyway, whoa, oh, oh, oh. Get these guys taken out as fast as possible. I like how the fly is trying to work his way through. Can't seem to do it, Kenny. It's all right, buddy. Just hang in there. Another bomb, Book of Belial's recharge. Might as well use Book of Belial on Envy. I think I'll get enough to recharge it for the boss. It's going to make my life against Envy a whole lot easier as well. Should, these guys should only take one. Uh, come on. These guys should only take one or two hits with the Book of Belial and the triple shot to take out. Yeah, particularly the smaller guys only seem to take one shot, which is good for me. Definitely shortened the length of time this video would have taken. Oh, come on. Come on! Got that penny. High speed penny. And then... I think there's a heart in here. Only half a heart, but there's another heart in here. So we'll pick that up. And begin going on our merry way in the other direction. Hoping to find the item room and find some particularly devilish items. Maybe an arcade. Lord knows gambling. Sorry, Satan knows gambling is a good thing to do. If you're a fan of the way the devil does things. If only there was an item that allowed me to consume 15 shots of tequila and then, you know, sexually harass waitresses. I think that's the height of devilness. Oh, there's some more bombs in here. 
Oh, well definitely I have to take that Poison Touch syringe. Taking steroids, certainly well within the range of things that could be considered evil. It would help me become the home run champion in Major League Baseball though, so there's something to say about that. So with Poison Touch, killed one of those silkworms that actually managed to get through to me. Whoa! Back off here. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of health still. But compared to what you get as Blue Baby, this actually kind of feels like I'm like I'm using a crutch right now. Playing as Judas, the character who only has one starting heart. Anyway, I think we'll be okay. There we go. Let's take this guy out. Hey, come on. There we go. And we got some of these freaky deaky heads here. Fine, we'll just try to do a little bit of pseudo circle strafing. This is a tough uh Come on! It's like these guys I'm saying come on a lot because I'm pissed off when I fight these guys. When you hit them, they move so much that circle strafing is almost impossible. There we go. Book of Belial's recharged. I got a lot more money than I used to... Oh, I don't want to go in there. A lot more money than I used to have, but also a lot less hearts. Ah, but these guys aren't so bad. And there's the item room, too. It's been a little bit, uh, a little bit laggy in here, unfortunately. Bear with me. Come on. That should do it. No hearts, but in the item room we have Halo of Flies. I don't think there's any way you could possibly spin that as biblical. A plague of flies now surrounds me. I have become more devilish. Mission accomplished. Keep moving to the right, now downwards, and into the next room. And we find another set of these dickholes who just killed me. Well, let's do another dark side run, because I don't feel like 11 minutes is nearly enough for the amount of evil that I was planning on wreaking on these motherfuckers, basically. That was that was a goddamn shame. Let's try that one more time. I am displeased with those results, if you could not tell. I didn't get great items, but I didn't get bad items either. That's just poor play on my part. Which, I mean, is nothing unusual. But, in any case, I digress and resolve to do better this time. So we'll just murder Envy. Shit, it sucks to get Envy again. But I think if you fight Envy on the basement one, maybe his, uh, his heads have less hit points. Maybe a little bit easier to take him out. I hope so. Because otherwise, this could, he could be here for a while because I don't have any increased damage. Hopefully I get some more devilish, great devilish items this time. Devilish items like dog food that could give me HP up and the possibility to succeed. I'm starting to see that it looks like bad guys finish last when you're playing the Binding of Isaac. This devilish run has not worked out nearly as well as I expected on the first playthrough. Let's go up here. The item room should be directly adjacent to this room, and indeed it is. I should be able to use my range advantage to murder these guys without them even being able to hit me. And indeed I can. Whoa! He's up there, buddy. And there should be this location of the secret room below me as well. Book of Shadows! Hmm, better than the Book of Belial? Well, let's resort to the evil scale. Book of Shadows, something to do with witchcraft. Book of Belial has a pentagram on the cover. Well, actually, it's just kind of a star. Or actually, there might be Diablo, I don't know. We're gonna stick with the Book of Belial. Check out the secret room. Lots of money. 14 cents. I would love to find one more cent. Because then I could make it worthwhile for me to go to the shop this time. So let's go up and fight Gish in this room. Maybe, get, come on, get back in the lane, Gish. Ah, well, tarot cards anyway. Absolutely evil. So we move downwards. Shoot any poop that we haven't shot so far. And hopefully find a scent. Doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky though. Maybe there'll be Larry Jr. Oh, Duke Flies. So we book of Belial right away. Just hammer away at the Duke of Flies. Should die pretty quickly. Again, first floor Duke of Flies, even though it is a champion. I don't expect it to be too hard. It is spawning a shit ton of flies, though. That's the most annoying part about the Duke of Flies, by far, is that it's just sometimes very, very difficult to hit him. Or hit it, I suppose, when it's surrounded by this, like, posse it's got here. Now, I gotta be careful, because I only can take two hits, and I've already taken one. So let's heal up. Yep, we'll eat our dog's heart or something. I'm not sure what we ate there. And go down to the next floor. So our HP up is definitely an advantage. Don't need anything from here. Looking to find one more scent, as well as, hmm, uh, the item room, I suppose, and some particularly devilish items. Again, a battery would be fantastic, or even more HPFs, there's our scent, so that we could make a deal with the devil, because that's kind of the crux 
of any run here as sa as a satanic character you want to have enough enough health to be able to make deals with the devil obviously what's more evil than that what's more evil than the 1999 or 2000 movie bedazzled starring Brendan Fraser and Elizabeth Hurley and we're fire to get even more money hey there's the item room and there's the boss room as well wow those uh, bombs took care of pretty much everything right away we still got a little bit of dregs to clean up here See what we have in this item room after we kill this fly. Well, another key, so we're gonna break even on this exchange right here. I'm gonna fire my laser. Well, I believe that is based on Cell from Dragon Ball Z. That dude is pretty evil with the Book of Belial. Still more evil. Hard to get more evil than an item that has, you know, the Dark Prince himself on the cover. Whoa. Let's let these guys basically take care of themselves just by rushing after me. Do get a little bit faster after you blow their heads off, though. Contrary to popular zombie lore. And there's a tinted rock in here. Unfortunately, I have no bombs. But maybe this guy will drop one. No such luck. Whoa, okay. This is a kind of a trickier room. This is the arcade. We could do some more gambling, but I definitely want to go to the shop before we go to the arcade. Take out these guys in the center first, and then the rest of these guys should be pretty darn easy. I'll just trap him in a lane and go to town. Coincidentally, my strategy when I play Twisted Metal, trap him in a lane and go to town. Uh, any Twisted Metal fans out there? Hey, we got a bomb. So we use a bomb right here to get this tinted rock. Key in a spirit heart. I mean a demon heart. Uh, we'll come up and go to the shop. See what we got. Oh, we got money equals power. Well, what is more evil than the idea that greed is good? So now the more money we have, the more damage we do. I believe, anyway. So... This should be pretty excellent. Let's go to the arcade and gamble the only other two cents that we have away. In the hopes that we find some more money a little bit later. Obviously going to play the slot machine, because if I get a bill, then that's going to make my life a whole lot easier. I'm going to be doing a substantial amount of damage. Of course, money makes me more powerful. I'm, I'm, I'm out of money? Dar. I almost thought about using the blood bank. I suppose I could to get more money, because I have a bunch of hearts down here. But as you guys know, I'm really lazy, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're just going to go fight the boss right away. Laziness is also evil, by the way, so I don't feel bad about being lazy during my evil playthrough. I'll be diligent during my, uh, my light side playthrough. I guess I don't need to do another light side playthrough since I already destroyed the one I did before. Well, destroyed is maybe a strong number. I'm glad to be fighting Monstro right now. Probably the easiest boss to be facing at this point. Seems to have, like, relatively low hit points. Oh, come on, buddy. Relatively low hit points as well. Spoiled milk, absolutely, we'll take that. And we should be able to make a deal with the devil now, maybe. I could make a two-hearted deal with the devil, at the very least. Oh man, how did he, nice, nice shot out of that turret. And again, I should really be paying more attention, or I'm gonna take even more useless damage. I've already taken one heart on this floor. There we go, one more guy. Oh, that didn't kill him? I need to get some more money. There we go. Hard I can't use. That's okay. And a penny! His power level increases. Ah, oh, come on. I really need a bomb, actually. I wish, for once, I wish these were bomb flies. Because then I could blow up that tinted rock in the bottom left corner. Unfortunately, they are not. So, I got lucky to not be hit there. Or there. Or there. Maybe we'll be able to find a bomb in one of these rooms around here. Which would also allow me to get that half heart, which has suddenly become pretty useful to me. Okay, these flies are pissing me off. Now, now they're on me! Fuck. I, I kind of deserved that one. I really put myself in the line of fire. It's amazing how things can go bad very, very quickly when you're in a Judas run. There we go. Can't even get to any of that stuff. Oh, but more money. Hopefully that'll increase my power a little bit. I wonder if those sunglasses change color as you get more and more powerful. My guess is no, maybe. And I wonder if it increases every cent, or maybe it's like every ten cents. Looks like my tears have changed color, doesn't it? I think they have. And that's fine by me, because red tears tend to do more damage. Obviously the blood. So we'll continue onwards here. Hey, there's the shop. Don't necessarily need anything from the shop or have the ability to spend enough money to get it. 
Plus, I mean, I don't really want to buy anything at the shop because the money actually gives me more and more damage. So we'll kind of move away from that for now. But I definitely do need some health as well, so who knows how long my resilience in not spending money is going to last. Let's check out what we got in. Ah, uh, uh, okay. We're, we're on the clock now. Oh, and now we're saved. That was a really brief period spent in turmoil. Which is just the way I like it. But hey, we found the item room. Hopefully we can find something like the sack of pennies. That's pretty demonic. And it would also help us out. Let's use our hanged man to get that stuff right there. Magnet! Fucking magnets, how do they work? Uh, I don't want to talk to a scientist. Y'all motherfuckers lying and getting me pissed. Lots of cursing in that lyric associated with magnets, so I'm going to wear them on my head. Plus, magnet kind of looks like a devil horn, doesn't it? And what's more evil than a devil horn? I don't know. Gaddafi, I guess. And that's it. Those devil horns, or Gaddafi, devil horns, Rebecca Black, I don't know what comes after that. Tim Allen fans. So I should probably go clean up all the items I missed because I couldn't get to them. But now I have the magnets, so I can just go get them. But I can, guys. So lazy. Sloth, one of the seven deadly sins, clearly fits in well with an evil run. So I'll probably just hang out instead. I'll get some Cheetos. We'll watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It'll be cool. We don't need to go back to those hearts. We'll be fine. You don't need to study for your finals, man. It's cool. You went to class. You got it. You don't need to go to class, man. Anyway. Justice! That's pretty good. Gives us all of this nonsense right here. Gives us some hearts, some bombs, some money, and hey, we're gonna be fighting Chubb. So we'll use Book of Belial right away, obviously. The evilest of books, next to the secret. By murdering these guys, we'll get a clear shot at Chubb. And begin whittling him down, basically. Really whittling him down, in fact. Oh, this champion Chubb spawning nubs. That was a sentence that was harder to say than you might imagine. Even as someone who speaks English for a living. Chubb's getting ready. He's getting ready to pounce. Doesn't want us to take his, his beautiful HP ups that he's going to drop for us. That's too bad for him. Because he doesn't have a choice in the matter. And now that he died, he actually did give us an HP up. We have the possibility to make a deal with the devil. Oh, so I can trade one heart for a brother Bobby, one heart for a sister Maggie. I'll take sister Maggie because she's red. And I will make the deal, of course, because this run is lacking a little bit in the Satan department. And that's fine by me. So it's almost as if I didn't even get an HP up. It's almost as if I got a brother Maggie, a brother Bobby, from that fight. Which is fine by me. Fair trade. Although, you know, in the end, I would probably rather have an HP up. But in keeping with the theme, let's go with Brother Bobby, Sister Maggie. Seems like, uh, I almost walked in the spikes. Seems like Sister Maggie does the same amount of damage that you do. So the stronger you get, the stronger she gets, which is useful. Well, obviously, nothing could be more satanic than Loki's horns. I've got two sets of devil horns now. Fear me. I am become Dex, destroyer of worlds. Well, oh, Jesus, I hate when those guys explode and shoot bullets in every goddamn direction. What's this champion guy gonna do when he dies, though? Is he gonna explode? Drop a live bomb? Drop a dead bomb? Oh, it's arrow card. For strength, that gives us an extra heart for one room. Not, as I've said, increasing our damage for one. Oh, yep, definitely gonna take damage here. In fact, too fucking much of it. We'll continue onwards. That heart, that strength card might become more useful than we ever imagined. Chest, hearts, money, keys. Might as well see what's in the shop just in case it's something unbelievably useful. Of course it is! It's our old buddy Greed. Hey Greed, how's it going? Yeah, not so bad. Uh, I was just thinking about beating this game, but clearly you had other designs. Uh, I used my strength card because I was down to half a heart. Jesus, okay. They gave us the devil card, which gives us more damage for a room, and a steam sale, which is 50% off, which is actually good, it means we'll incur less of a damage penalty when we buy something from the store. There's only a heart and a half left, though. I gotta be careful. Again, I love saying heart and a half. Try it on. Try it on for size. It feels pretty good. Heart and a half. Anyway, I'm gonna name my emo revival band that. Is it too early for emo to have a revival? Has emo even left yet? I don't know. Focusing on things I shouldn't shouldn't be concerning myself with. 
I'm not surprised that he didn't get out of that without getting hit. Let's murder this guy right here. Drop some pills. Pills are pretty evil. Bad gas. Yeah, farting is pretty evil, so... I'd say that was well within the, the realm of an evil playthrough. Oh, I got stuck on the goddamn stage layout again. Yeah. Loki's horns, of course, cause us tears up. And we also shoot tears in various directions now. So instead of just shooting them straight, we shoot them, like, in the compass rose directions as well. More pills. Range up. That's pretty useful. Provided you don't have laser tears, which nullifies the entire use of range up. I'm not going to gamble, because I do have this money equals power item. Even though gambling, I suppose, would be a little bit satanic. What's more satanic than saving all of your money and getting paid interest instead of working your ass off for the man, right? That's... Uh, I don't know. Again, you cut me some slack. I'm trying to spin it any way I can here. The light side playthrough was a lot easier to justify and you know, discount items or get rid of items. Anyway, hey, there's our boss room. I guess we will go to that right away. Should probably try to find a secret room, considering it uh, like I would have more strength the more money I had. But again, just my my utter laziness kind of makes that a, a problem for me. Let's go fight whoever it is in here. So we, uh, Gertie! Champion Gertie! We'll use both the uh, Book of Belial and the Devil, which looks like they did exactly the same thing. And then we should be doing kind of ungodly amounts of damage. But this Champion Gertie is sometimes a pain in the ass. Sometimes Champion Gertie doesn't shoot at you, it only spawns enemies. And that's a problem for me because it makes Gertie a lot harder. The Gertie that shoots at you is much easier to deal with. But luckily, I'm doing a pretty astronomical amount of damage to Gertie right here. It can do almost nothing to cope with me at this point. Except spawn these nubs that just get taken out nearly instantly. Hey, looks like a heart drop. Several hearts drop. And an HP upgrade. Fantastic. My guy was looking pretty satanic there with no eyes like Robin Williams in that fever dream in one hour photo. Possibly the most specific reference I've ever made over the course of this Let's Play. Can't believe I took damage there after killing the Leaper. I mean, mere seconds after, but still. Hey, there's the spirit heart. And there's these assholes right here. Some of my least favorite enemies in the game. Especially on a layout this cramped. I was guaranteed to take damage. I didn't expect to take that much, though. Or this much, since we're still in progress. Ugh. Fucking... Demon Heads and Leapers. That's actually gonna be the title of my first album. So murder these brains. Uh, uh, come on, buddy. You don't have eyes. You shouldn't be able to tell where I'm shooting. Ah, uh, get the fuck out of here! Good book of Belial, use everything in your arsenal! Come on! Oh. Okay, two leaper. Just play it Okay. No more fucking around with this guy. Thank God. Okay, well, I just can't take any more damage then. Thank God for this man. Uh, I'm gonna give money to the homeless under the pretense that he is going to spend it on drugs and alcohol, and that is super fucking evil. Thanks for the Book of Revelations, which I can't use because it's satanic. God damn it! That is that ladder satanic? I don't think so. Nor is the well, maybe the bomb is satanic. I'll pick that up anyway. The pill taking pills is satanic. I'm taking them for recreation. Full health. Lucky me. And lucky bending the rules a little bit. Let's put a bomb here. It should blow up at least one of these guys. And hey, that's something. They cut. Come on. Because you're such a pain in the ass, unless you have like the freezing ability. No, don't trap me! Oh, Assholes. There we go. Okay, now I got you. Not so fucking smart now, are you, zombie brain guy? Damn shame the Book of Revelations is down there, but did you... You must be admiring my ability to withstand temptation. It should actually be in the Biblical run, I suppose, but... Could have used that Book of Revelations once, but I chose not to in order to keep the purity of this evil run. Every time I say evil, I feel like Dr. Evil. But anyway, let's move on. Oh, fucking champion leapers. What could be greater than playing a game of golf on a gator? 
There we go. One's dead. And pills. Pills that have nondescript effects right now. Come on, just die. Leapers should never take this many hits. More bombs. The pills cause me to fart myself to death. God damn it. Book of Sin. That's possibly... Oh, what have I done? I took myself to the secret room. Uh, where we will just explode this slot machine. I wasn't even paying attention. I was trying to give some... Some narrative, but I, I lost out. Where... Oh, fuck. Plant the bomb. Run to safety. Get the hell out of here. Pray you don't have to go back that way to get to the boss. Shit. Okay. Really need something to save me now. Um, I'm gonna go back to the Book of Belial. I think Book of Sin and Book of Belial both equally dark-sided. Uh, the Book of Belial is more urgent at this moment. And again, I will deal absolutely with this guy. See if he gives me something useful. And he's going to spend all his money on drugs anyway, so I'm funding the end of his life, essentially. I am Satan, giving him money so he can buy alcohol. Hey, keys? That's a start, big man, but you're going to need to do better than that. Every time I give you some money, I'm doing worse for myself. Okay, hey, Brother Bobby, that's pretty good. Uh, but I did get tears down as a result of uh, spending so much money there. That's okay, though. I think in the end, it'll all work out. And hey, a little bit of extra health if I could just suss out the direction these guys are going. So that I could avoid taking damage. Where are you going? Only a few more coming. Excellent. Sister Maggie is still doing as much damage as she did last time. Anyway, more health. Excellent. We'll go fight the boss. Use Book of Belial. Hey, we're gonna get uh, a meat boy here. Oh, no, we're not. We're gonna get one... Ah, why did I... I know exactly how war acts. Why did I take the damage there? We're gonna get one cube of meat. That's what I meant to say. Again. Oh, man, I got lucky to not take damage there. Just keep hammering away. That works really well, actually. War is probably going to be dead pretty darn soon. Luckily, maybe I actually stand a chance. Cube of meat. Pretty evil, again. The whole heart disease cholesterol thing. And as we move on here, I'm going to pray that I find the item room and mom's heart as quickly as possible. I'm not going to gamble. I'm going to save my money and use it to keep the little guy down. And by that, I mean I'm going to save my money. Because otherwise I won't do any damage and I will absolutely fail this video in the next few seconds. Well, probably not in the next few seconds. But short. Put it that way. Got a lot of... Quite an arsenal with me right here. Oh, 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 oh. Excellent. This guy's dying. Hopefully we will get some new items. Nothing at all. He's particularly hoping for some hearts. Gotta at least kill this champion see what he drops. And I could bust my way out of this room if I want to. Good. A bomb. But, you know, now that I've got these guys in my sights, I might as well just fight them. There we go. There's one down. Oh, come on! Every time I get hit now, it's like, what the fucking game's so unfair? I could beat this if I really wanted to. We all knew a kid like that. When we were younger. Hell, probably a lot of us were that kid. Let's murder this guy. Murder this champion brain here. If you're so smart, why don't you have a protective skull to make sure you don't get killed like that? Yeah, you didn't think about that one, did you, Mr. Brain Guy? Right, these flies are dead. We got one more human popcorn to go. And we might as well get that scent because I do have the magnet. Hey, a blood bank. Absolutely don't want to use that, but we'll explode it. See what we can get out of it. Another scent. I think that allowed us to get our tears up, actually. So not totally useless. And hey, there's the item room. Everything's coming up Millhouse right now. Kind of. I still do only have two hearts, which will make a fight against Mom borderline impossible. But I'm trying to always look on the bright side of death right now. In our item room, we have a sack of pennies. Would have been more useful earlier, but hey, now's a good time. Another item that contributes to our greed. So that's something. You're not supposed to shoot at me. Everything in this room is already dead. And here we got a champion, vaginal silkworm. Uh, Mom should really be taking Gardasil. Come on. There we go. And one more silkworm. Excellent. Dropped a heart. To what do I owe this great fucking honor? I must have appeased the gods in some way earlier today. 
And we're doing actually okay, considering how badly that first devilish run went. And my guy does look pretty devilish. He's got two sets of horns, one of which is metallic. Two fetuses following him around, as well as a sack of money. And a cube of... I don't know. Pancetta. Something like that. Uh, okay. These guys are dead, but I did take some stupid damage. But that's okay, stupid damage is my, my bread and butter. Thankfully, Cube of Meat saved me from getting hurt right there. These two brain guys are gonna go down really quickly, hopefully drop a heart. Yep, those brains just dropped half a heart. Since as I never thought I would say in real life. Hey, absolutely wanna go to this chest for another key and a bomb. That's alright, that's not so bad. Alright, so we got Gluttonizers here. Should be able to take these guys out pretty quickly if I use my brain. I took two hits from that one gluttony after saying if I only use my brain. Oh, but hey, there's a heart right there. And more gluttony. A chance to redeem myself. Or a chance to prove that I have learned absolutely nothing. Two more cents. Maybe that's worth another tears up? Who knows? Hard to tell. And there's the shop, which I probably don't want to go to. I, I definitely did not want to go in this room, though. Oh, actually, maybe I do. It depends. It's possible that the boss room is adjacent to this room. So we're just going to keep firing at these guys. Hopefully, my range advantage will allow me to take them out from long distance. Oh, it looks to be working out pretty well. Going swimmingly right now. Let that come to me. Yeah, no, actually, the boss room is right there. I didn't even notice. Might as well go check out the shop just in case maybe there's something like a battery or a compass which should prove. Greed! It's the second time! I am so fucking done with your shit. I'm not gonna let you hurt me anymore. I'm getting out of this relationship. Good night. And of course, drops a lot of money for me, which is actually good. Maybe that causes me to get some tears up. And now we will just go... Uh, explode everything in this room. And maybe get some more money out of it. I could play all this stuff, but... Faster and probably better for me to just blow it up right away. Get as much money as I possibly can going into this boss fight. Whoa, watch out! And full health, actually. Well, it would have been full health if that heart hadn't exploded. Anyway, so we got the Book of Belial, and we can take like three, maybe four hits against Mom, depending on what hits us. Should have a chance. Give myself about a 36% chance of taking this one down. Stand out of the way. Again, the more the foot comes down, the greater the chance of my success is. Shit, there's one hit right there. But only a half heart, so that's okay. Okay, uh, another hit. That one was totally stupid as well. Yes, destroy. Destroy your minions, please. That's the, the main reason I like it when the foot comes down so much. And the cool thing about Loki is... Uh, with me standing, oh, another stupid hit of damage. With me standing in the middle as much as I possibly can, I can hit Mom at all four of those doors because of the way Loki shots fire. Unfortunately, those guys fire in a similar way. Oh, okay, there we go. Doing much better so far than I did at the very beginning of this fight. There's the foot. Don't see it yet. Okay, there it is. Almost dead. I think I'm, I'm actually going to succeed here. What dropped that bomb? Like, whatever it is, I'm happy about it. Alright, so we got an HP up, and a little bit more health, and we'll continue down into the womb. Possibly, the dark side run will end the same way as the light side run did. Also, probably more likely, actually, is the dark side run will end in utter failure, because I can only take three hits in the womb, a level which tends to sometimes cause me to take three hits in every single room. Oh, don't want that bomb. But it was chasing me. Right, so we got a dead end here. And I can't stop moving because the lasers will get me. Oh, the lasers are dead now. Okay. Problem solved in that regard. Bigger problem to, to fail or to follow, I suppose, though. Dealing with this entire floor. Hey, there's some more help. Don't want to use the Book of Belial unless I absolutely have to. Uh, for some damage. Remember, everything in the womb does double damage, essentially. So if it normally did half a heart, it will now do one heart. So there's two stupid hits, particularly the stupidest one is when I was narrating what would happen if I got hit. But at least I got a coin out of it. What do we have here? Just a room full of diglets. 
Teleporting Diglets. Again, with a V. It's such a great band name for like a Talking Heads cover band. Teleporting Diglets. How'd you get your name? Well, I was watching a Let's Play. What's a Let's Play? Ooh. This guy coming. I gotta use Temperance. I totally forgot what that does. Blood Bank. Well, I should explode that as soon as possible. Hey, that worked out really well, actually. As best as it possibly could have. Uh, I didn't want to walk into that blood bank by accident. That would have been terrible for me. And now Chubb is very nearly dead. Hopefully he'll drop something useful. Hopefully he'll drop something useful, I said. A nickel! You know what? That actually is pretty useful considering the item that I have right now. Gotten a lot of money in a very recent time period. Ah, shit, we hit a dead end. It's not really such an aw shit moment except for the fact that I'm going to have to go back like... Six rooms. Six rooms where I could potentially get leapers and lasers and lions. Oh my. Those guys are dead. We got some pills that maybe do health up. Hey. Guess there's a blessing in disguise there. So we'll come up in this direction, I suppose. Possibly up. Okay. It's kind of a tough room here. It's slowing my slowing my shit down a little bit. Let's focus on one of these gents at a time. There's one more down. And now, with these two guys basically on the same path, the same line, it should be pretty easy to take out. This is not the hard version of Blast Assist, but it is a harder version of Blast Assist than maybe we're used to. So we got lasers, vaginal silkworms, probably the least favorite name for anything I've ever come up with just because it's so fucking disgusting. But that's okay. That's what the game deals in. Grotesqueness. Let's pick up even more money. Becoming kind of a powerhouse here with my tears. I'm starting to think things are picking up. Things are looking up at the very least. Let's go to the left here. I think that's going to give us the greatest chance to get to the boss room fastest. Ooh. Tempting. And yes, I will. How much money do I have to give you to get something good? Maybe 10 cents at the most. Okay, bomb. That's something. Come on. Come on. A live bomb? You killed yourself, you dumb retard! But hey, range up. It's something at least. Oh, okay, fetus room. Whoa, got lucky to not take damage there. Hopefully we're fighting against Skolex when we get to the boss room. If we get to the boss room. Oh, because Skolex tends to be <laughs> quite possibly the easiest boss in the game, to be honest with you. Hey, another nickel. I'll make up for the money I spent on that asshole. We got our own self to fight against here. As well as these zombies. Gotta be careful that I don't shoot myself. The computer's using all of its processing power right now to figure out the outcome of these events. Okay, and then we'll just make our own self walk on top of these spikes, get this chest, which contains two half hearts. Fantastic! Everything's coming up Millhouse down here. So down. One more. Oh, two monstros. Are those monstros or monsters? Ah, I thought they were monsters too, maybe. No, single monstros, which is good for me, because they'll go down really easily. Not only single monstros, but also champion monstros, actually. But anyway, that one died. And he dropped another heart, as well as some more money. So I keep continuing to get more and more powerful. And hey, there's another heart I'll get by way of my magnet. Well, for those of you who wanted to run where I explored every single room in the womb, uh, your wish is my command, apparently, on this one. Because I just have been completely unable to find out where I'm supposed to go. Well, take out that mother trucker there. And yet another chest that's dropped. And it's got some, hey, a spirit art, some money, and a key. Getting really lucky with my item drops here, and I can't believe I've somehow not taken damage from the womb here. Or from this room, I should say. Full health? What could I... I could not ask for more. Whoa, it's chubby. Chubb is quick right now. Quickest Chubb I've ever seen. Yeah, eat the bomb. Unbelievably fast version of Chubb, though. I gotta maintain my distance here. Or I am gonna take stupid damage. Which, again, is not outside of the norm for me. Hey, Chubb's dead. Dropped a heart I can't even use. Feels good to say that for once in the womb here. Lots more money. Well, this is not the way to the boss room. This is the way to my impending death, perhaps. Make sure we take out these guys. And continually stay on the move. That room went really well, actually. How many more rooms do I have to fucking explore before I finally find the end of this 
fucking vaginal prison. Uh, I don't think it's going to be off this room, so we might as well go up in this direction. You can tell sort of by the layout whether it's possible for the boss to even exist there. Oh, but this is a dead end, so obviously I was incorrect. Murder these feti first. Fetuses, I guess for anyone out there who is concerned with the linguistics of the etymology of the plural of fetus. Yet another money drop. And wow, this is like room 20 on this floor. Cut a ninja some slack here. At least I have Book of Lyle completely saved up. And yet more rooms! And I hate this layout. This is, this is a, an accursed layout for me. But luckily there's only two of these mamma jammas left. Although I've taken like four hits in this room already. I had full health when I came in here. I had spirit hearts! This room at least is very easy. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's all, it's all come crashing down here. From everything's coming up Millhouse to... I don't know, whatever the opposite of that is. Everything's going down... Nelson. Hopefully this guts drops something. Come on. Come on. Well, I got another penny. Hopefully we're fighting Skolex. Thankfully we are. Okay, let's use our Book of Belial. Every hit that we do should be uh, pretty significant. Although, those, that first hit didn't seem so so incredible. Hey, where's your tail, man? Oh, I thought I was going to get tagged there. There we go, this is what I'm looking for. Got down to about a, well, 20% of its health now. 10%. Couple more hits will do it. Believe it or not, this has been one of the hardest Skullless Box... Skullex boss fights I've had so far. Despite not taking any damage. And a range up! Well, Mom's underwear is absolutely satanic. We'll continue down. And here we go. You're saying there's a chance. Couple of these guys. No problem. We'll just use a bomb to blow them up. Hearts? Well, pennies. It's definitely not as useful as a heart would be right now. But that's okay. I have faith in my ability. If we can get to It Lives, or Mom's Heart, whatever you would like to call it, I think we'll be okay. And the ability to gamble is pretty useful right now. But, it's a big but, I don't want to spend any money because I'm doing pretty incredible damage right now because my money is power item. Get out of there! There we go, that should take out that one. And with only two more left, I gotta get in a situation where I can hit them. Unfortunately, they keep spawning in that fucking labyrinth up there where it's impossible to get at them. This is why I need that, that third version of Meat Boy to come and just rough them up. Come on, one more. Oh, it's a perfect shot. Oh, I come on, how could you even see me from there? I hate this enemy. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I didn't even see you out of my peripheral vision there. There we go! Fucking finally. And what do we have here? Explosive diarrhea. Who knows? That could be useful at some point. We'll blow the shit up out of everything here. Oh, whoa! Mom's heels. Again. Starting to look like a girly boy. Something that is frowned upon by the church. Lots more money. Oh, well, you know, I might as well use explosive diarrhea to blow up the blood bank. Maybe there's a heart contained therein that could save my life. Well, there was only one cent contained therein. That's not a lot. So we'll keep going. Ah, dead end. Okay. That's okay. Because I'm doing an unbelievable amount of damage right now. I'm dressed in all my mom's clothing. And this champion version of myself is going to be really easy to take out and he should drop some sort of item. Well, a couple cents. Again, Still pretty useful for me, considering that I have that passive ability to turn my money into increased damage. Combine that with the Book of Belial, maybe we got a shot against Mom. Are you telling me that pills... Whoa, okay. Range up. Again, great walking on my own part. Oh, whoa. I'm gonna use those range ups as soon as I defeat these bosses. Cause then we have Mom's heart ready. What? Did you go fucking Christ! Jesus! It got so fast! That was unbelievable! Did you see how fast that got? Now I've only got one hit against Mom. Uh... Here we go, I guess. 
fuck. This is gonna be... Yep, there we go. Laser took me out already. I was so goddamn close. Anyway, there was my demonic run. 50 minutes! Two demonic runs, actually. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time on Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Keep suggesting challenges in the comments. I love reading them, and I'm inspired by them. And that's what you're going to see in more runs in the future. See you next time.